Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Informatica World 2017. Brought to you by Informatica. Hey, welcome back everyone. We're live here at theCUBE in San Francisco for Informatica World 2017 exclusive CUBE coverage. I'm John Furrier with SiliconANGLE. My co-host, Peter Burris, with our chief analyst at wikibon.com. Our next guest is Andrew McIntyre, who's the VP of technology at the Chicago Cubs. Just took a picture of the ring, the World Series <laughs> ring. Andrew, welcome to theCUBE. Uh, thanks for having me. We're excited to have you on one. It's, we love sports, we, used, we always say we're the ESPN of tech. And we love the Cubs. And we love the Cubs, and I'm also a Red Sox fan primarily, but big fan for you guys. Congratulations on the World Series win. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, last year was pretty magical, so very happy to be a part of it. And thanks for taking off the ring and letting us uh, uh, take a picture. We didn't stuff in our pocket like the Russians did <laughs> with Kraft's Super Bowl ring. Uh, but you're here talking about technology, and that's what you do. The Cubs in baseball, you have some restrictions, as I'll see licensing at the league, MLB headquarters, but also Wrigley is a smaller footprint. You guys have some challenges there but how are you guys using technology and why here at Informatica? What are you talking about here? So uh, Informatica has been really a key to our um, enterprise data management program from the beginning. Um, when I joined back in June of 2012, uh, we recognized that there was really a lack of investment uh, inside of technology, not just in the physical structures of the buildings, but also in the back of house applications. And so we knew that for us to, to really be the best both on the field and off the field, we'd have to make a large investment of time, effort, resources into data uh, to help us make better decisions. So Informatica is critical for us because that's really the center of all of our data integrations, uh, and it's really the beginnings towards our advanced analytics programs. We always talk about, uh, on theCUBE, we do a lot of sports, we call Sports Data SV for Silicon Valley, to bring a tech angle, but what's interesting thing about sports, sports franchises, and particularly teams, is they can use data and technology for not only just managing the organization, but managing the players and the club, and also the fan experience. Mm -hmm. And Levi Stadium is, is, has a, is a brand new facility here, we've looked at that. It's transforming the impact of that, because now you got social media, you got TV, you got content flying all around, but being in person at a venue like Wrigley yeah. is, uh, is like a cathedral, like Fenway Park, it's got that same vibe. So how do you turn, how do you use all this together in those transformative areas, managing the organization, managing the team, and the fan experience? Well, I think it's very difficult because when you have such an unbelievable facility like Wrigley Field, you want to make sure you don't really mess with the magic. So you really want to enhance it. So when you add technology or add those experiences, they have to fit with everything else that really is Wrigley Field and really is the Cubs. And so even though the technology is not necessarily new, one of the biggest pieces of technology we added to Wrigley Field was video boards. And we had 100 years of Wrigley Field with no video. Uh, and uh, when we started the 1060 project, which is our restoration effort at Wrigley Field, uh, our first phase was implementing video boards. And the amount of time that we spent talking to our fans, talking to the neighbors, talking to the uh, historians to make sure that when we introduce that element into the ballpark, that it fit well with the overall aesthetics, but also the type of information we were going to share and how that changed the entire interaction when you came to a game uh, was going to benefit it. So and you're I, balancing uh, preserving the history, 100%. culture of Wrigley, but modernizing it for things like video and fan you, you got it. I mean, obviously there's always a lot of talk when, inside of stadiums and venues around connectivity. And that's another major challenge when you have a very <laughs> old ballpark. And so we have studied uh, of the likes of Levi Stadium, and we've actually partnered up with one of their providers to help us with our cellular infrastructure. Uh, we've looked at uh, places like AT&T Park. Uh, Bill does a great job with his Wi-Fi and has really led the league in that area. Uh, so for us, you know, adding those types of technologies that become a little bit more commonplace these days is also that much more challenging when you're in that 100-year-old facility that was never really built for that in the first place. Yeah, Wi-Fi seems to be on the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, just <laughs> under food and shelter. I mean, people always complain about the Wi-Fi, they want connectivity, that's a big one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right, I mean, you know? it's interesting right now, Wrigley Field does not have a fan-facing Wi-Fi system. Now, we do have back-of-house Wi-Fi for our operations, uh, ticket scanning, our uh, point of sale, things of that nature, um, but we don't have that fan-facing, and nowadays, that's almost unheard heard of that you have one of the major league ballparks without it. Now, our cellular coverage is, is very uh, adequate at this point in time. We're looking to do some massive overhauls of that. Um, but the Wi-Fi is going to be a huge push for us because then we see that as that foundational layer that we can then really bring some new, exciting um, engagements and enhancements to that fan experience. Uh, things like those mobile applications like our ballpark app, uh, other things that we can do with proximity marketing, uh, and then really driving you know, what that experience is going to look like. I see future. friends who go to Chicago and they actually, even on the off season, and 
they go to Wrigley and take selfies in front of the stadium. You guys are certainly a destination. You got to, like I said, it's more, it's like a cathedral of baseball. It's really a, ma a magical place. What are you guys doing to extend that um, footprint? You have uh, Wrigleyville is kind of going on. Can you just kind of talk about how you guys sure. as an organization are extending the footprint of Wrigley without <laughs> <laughs> changing the dynamic. Yeah, so the, the Ricketts family has really made a large investment into not just the Cubs, but into the entire Wrigleyville area. And so uh, part of the, uh, the growth of the entire Wrigleyville experience, if you will, is their investment not only into the Cubs, but also the rooftops, into um, what they call the park at Wrigley, which is a brand new uh, Chicago park that we've just released, which will allow us to do 365 day programming, things like farmer's markets and uh, movies in the park. Uh, we'll have a game day uh, activations as well. Uh, but then in addition, the, the Ricketts family is also investing in uh, real estate uh, right across the street from Wrigley and they're building a 175 room hotel. And so now you're starting to see this mix of uh, really food, uh, music and sports all coming together, which a lot of people start to term like the entertainment district. Now the greatest part about you know, the Cubs and Wrigleyville <coughs> is that it's always been an entertainment district. We're just, in, just adding a little bit more to that yeah. and in being able to capitalize on that as well. So what kind of analytics are you doing in the context of the entire sets of experiences you described? Where are you getting the low-hanging fruit that's really justifying and uh, the initial use of, but also the expansion of some of the tooling and technology associated here at the show? Yeah, I think the uh, in the beginning, and I would say in the beginning for me it was really back when I joined back in 11, um, but the beginning for us is really get a handle on our operational data that really ran our business and really focused on our business uh, revenue lines. And so, you know, most uh, sports organizations really comes down to five different areas. It's uh, your ticketing, your merchandise, your retail, but also sponsorship and then broadcast rights. And so for us, really getting a good handle on what was the best ways for us to drive those revenue lines to make the best use of how we price our products, how we move those to the marketplace, both in the off season and during the season, so that we can free up that capital to either invest and other development projects or to uh, reinforce back into the team itself for you know, making the push for the World Series or maintaining a team that's, that's going to be a, hopefully a perennial powerhouse. So analytics has been an impact on the business side for sure. But the, the, to the initial question, it's, we definitely started internally with business operations with a forward thinking view towards how do we then begin to learn more about our customers so that then we can do more specific targeted marketing and then as the suite of solutions begin to roll out across across the Wrigleyville, we can begin to know our customers, what they want to experience, how do we do better segmentation for them, and then when we're communicating with them, can be very, very targeted, very, very, you know, the right message at the right time uh, for the right audience. So the value of the data about your fan base must be just absolute gold to not only the surrounding neighborhood, Wrigleyville, but also the Chicago community at large. How are you, how are you, as, as well as the Cubs have a national fan base, so how are you, how are you handling that kind of fine line between what you use internally, how you uh, treat your, your, uh, your, your fundamental core fans, especially the ones that obviously attend games, and then the opportunity to think about how that might reveal insights about uh, to partners and whatnot from a sponsorship standpoint for folks that are coming to the field. Yeah, I mean, it's a delicate balance. There, there's no one good answer for it. Um, I think, obviously, the more information we have, the more data we have, the better we're going to be at making decisions. And, uh, but there is a delicate line between going too far and uh, starting to push fans away, or uh, even the neighbors. You know, so the Ricketts family, when we started, it was all about three major goals. You know, one was the win the World Series. You know, happy to say that that mission has been accomplished. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much on that. Um, oh, show that off, uh, yeah. show yeah. that off. Come on, yeah, hold <laughs> it up. <laughs> um, the, uh, the second was uh, to uh, restore Wrigley Field. And so we're currently in uh, uh, a six, uh, six year phase uh, restoration effort of that and we've just completed phase three. And then the, the third was to be a good neighbor. And so for us, um, everything that we're doing is not just a part of the Cubs and the, the fan base of the Cubs, but we got to remember we're in the middle of Chicago, we're in the middle of Wrigleyville. There are, there are neighbors, there are families. This is a community, and so everyone feels a part of that community. So you have to be very, very cautious with the information that you're using, how you're capturing it, and then how you're using that. And so sponsorship is actually a, a pretty tricky piece because, yeah, you're right, we have gold, right? We have over three million people coming through Wrigley Field every day. We believe the Cubs nation is about 75 million strong. Uh, across the globe, and so uh, we want to make sure that that information that we do have on our on our fan base is used in in the really to 
increase their um, loyalty to the, the Cubs themselves, to increase their loyalty to Chicago and Wrigleyville, uh, but not push too far where we're starting to turn them away from us because of what we're doing. And you have a lot of execution challenges. Like you mentioned, the footprint year, it's not like you're revitalizing downtown Chicago. Some ballparks have done that. You've seen mm -hmm. certainly San Francisco, Colorado, and the, the, the references are everywhere where you put a ballpark in, it revitalizes it. You were already in a pre-existing community. Yeah. So you kind of got to execute Perfectly, right? <laughs> on the on the branding, on the branding and the sponsorship, so you don't have a lot of net as you're walking the tightrope there. No, you're you're spot on. Like everything that we do in Wrigley Field is is heavily scrutinized. Uh, the media obviously spends a lot of time looking at uh, what we're doing to make sure it's not you know um, impacting the overall experience and that we're always enhancing it. Uh, the neighbors themselves, whether it comes down to yeah. parking or night games or yeah. when we added lights, every little piece that we do, uh, there is massive investment of time mm -hmm. and effort to make sure it is right because yeah. everyone, for the most part, loves Wrigley and they want to make yeah. sure that it's, it's going to maintain itself for the next hundred years. I lived in, uh, I went to Northeast and undergraduate and uh, Fenway Park was right there. So every time there was a game, it was always parking challenges. Everyone yeah. would be up in arms, you know. They finally won their World Series like you guys with thanks to Theo as well. Uh, question I want to ask you, getting back to Informatica World, what are you guys doing with Informatica specifically? Because you said mentioned data management. What solution are you guys using? Sounds like the data 3.0 is right in line with what you're doing. What's the, what's the Informatica relationship? Can you just talk more about that? Sure. Um, so one of our biggest initiatives was the, the beginnings of our enterprise um, data warehouse. And really to help drive that was the integration of all of our data sets. I mentioned those different revenue lines, but behind the scenes there's over two dozen different data sources that we need to consume. So we really felt like we needed a, a platform to begin with and then be able to grow with, and, and that's really what led us to Informatica. Um, I've had a history with Informatica even before joining the Cubs, so for us it's, we knew of their strength. Yeah. Uh, you know, their capability across every product line that they enter is they're always dominant. Uh, you can see it in the Gartner Magic Quadrants. If they decide to play into a specific area of data management, they're going to dominate it. So we knew that a best of breed solution and a partner like that would be good for us yeah. both the short term and the long term. Uh, now that's what we've done so far, and that focus initially on operations, initially on our core data um, uh, sources that run our business, that's been our initial. Now we're starting to expand into that, that fan data. And so one of the big things for us from an infrastructure stand, standpoint is the overhaul of our wireless infrastructure across the entire campus. That's going to be rolling out in 2018. And then in addition to that is that Wi-Fi. So now once you have Wi-Fi data and you're providing that to your fan base, there's a lot of information that you can capture from that. Uh, mixing that in with social, you're starting to see very, very large sets of data, like big data management, and that's why we've decided to take that next investment and move down that path. So one of the biggest challenges of doing something like this is not just buying and installing the technology, but getting the rest of the organization to adopt it, and use it, and apply it, and turn it into value for the business. What role did you play in acculturating the Cubs organization <laughs> to understanding that there was a new way of thinking and using data to achieve some of these goals. Yeah, I mean it's it's a two-part um, question. The first part was when I was hired in the leadership group. So that's Crane Kenny, uh, Alex Sugarman, John Greifenkamp. They knew uh, that we needed to be. Um, to really increase our game, if you will, from a technology standpoint. They knew things like customer relationship management, enterprise data management, business intelligence and analytics. These are things that we should have in our back pocket and really be able to grow on. Um, so my job initially was to come in to lead those efforts, to figure out the right partners, to execute on those. Uh, now, we're kind of shifting and pivoting into, we're expanding the, the uh, enterprise, if you will, to make sure it's not just looking at Chicago, but we're looking at our spring training facility, we're looking at our training academies in Dominican Republic, we're looking really on a global scale for that entire fan base, making sure that the data, the information, can scale with that. Um, so, in the beginning with the data warehousing and the analytics, there was a little bit of a, more of a build it and they will come. And strong we business to, sponsorship. We, we Strong business sponsorship on the CRM side, but on the enterprise data warehousing side, some of these were new concepts to the whole entire organization. So really we had to almost take a little bit of a leap of faith of saying, based on our experiences and our knowledge from uh, you know, our previous employment, we knew that this was not necessarily something that uh, was going to be a, uh, 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 not something that it would be uh, that the organization would push back to. We just needed to prove it to them uh, once they saw it. So that investment and and the focus that you know very very distinct focus on proving to each individual business department allowed us to build that trust. And as we got more trust, then we got more requests. So now it's like starts to then speed up of how quickly can you get this next data set? How quickly can you uh, analyze that piece of information so that we can make better decisions? Running at the speed of business like stealing home here in the cube. <laughs> Andrew McIntyre here in the Cube. Great, we got the Chicago Cubs inside the Cube. Hold that ring up one more time, show that <laughs> ring. 
breaks the curse of the Chicago Cubs. Congratulations on the World Series. Okay, funniest story. Did you go in the Ivy, look for balls in there? I mean, give us a, give us a, a Wrigley story. Um, Share something about the, the, the stadium or experience you've had that someone might not know about. So I, I always reflect on uh, really two stories, and, and my favorite one was uh, day two. So day one, you know, um, you're very excited to join the organization. Uh, Crane and John are walking me through the offices. They show me my office. Uh, they then, uh, we go down, we watch a couple of innings in the game. We end up, um, uh, at the time, we hit a home run to win the game, so it was like a walk-off to win. Like all these, like the sun is shining. It's in day. the middle of June. You're like, this is outstanding, you know. <laughs> then on day two, we're like, okay, let's take the tech walk. And so we start walking through all of our closets in our data center, and I'm like, and like uh, Andrew, are you familiar with a rain hat? I'm like, what? a rain hat? What, what is a rain hat? They're like, oh yeah, let me show you. So they walk us into, they walk me into the, the data center and they're like, a rain hat is a corrugated piece of plastic that you put on top of your racks so that when it rains in your data center, <laughs> it pushes the water to either one side. <laughs> and that's where it's configurable because there's a two by four that you can either prop one way or another to make sure the water is flowing off. So then I was like, state of the art data oh, center. <laughs> okay, so now I know what, uh, you know, what, what kind of job I got cut out for me. So, uh, but yeah, that's, that's always my reflection back to uh, starting with the Cubs and obviously where we are now. Hey, but uh, it was very a very clean room. Arena. That's right. <laughs> That's exactly right. Congratulations. Uh, really was exciting to watch this past year. Congratulations on the World Series. Chicago Cubs are inside the cube here. Talking sports, talking baseball, talking tech with the tech athletes here. Andrew McIntyre is the cube. We're the ESPN of tech, I guess we've been called. <laughs> Thanks for coming in the cube. We're at Informatica World 2017. I'm John Furrier, Peter Burris with Wikibon.com. We'll be right back with more after the short break. Stay with us.